Hi, and thanks for choosing Purple Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can monetize your server with Crafting Store. Now what this means is that you can set up packages, kits, and donations to your server. So if you are looking to get a bit more professional with your server, then this is the way to go. Crafting Store is also a free service, but there are different plans that will allow you to get a few more features if you do pay a little extra. Anyway, let's get right into installing it. So first of all, we do want to make sure that our Minecraft server does support plugins. This means that you want to be running a version that does support plugins, this being Paper, Spigot or Craft Bucket. So to check which version you're running, go to your main page, scroll down to Server Type and click on the Jar and pre install menu. From here you can then select Paper, Spigot or Craft Bucket. I recommend you pick Paper as it is the most optimised and we're going to go ahead and pick the most recent version of Minecraft as well. So we'll then click save. And then you'll want to restart your server. Anyway, now that we have our server version set up, it's time to actually install the plugin. So in the description, there'll be a link to this website. As you can see, it's the official crafting store spigot page, where we can simply just click download now. And then we'll just click save in our downloads. And as you can see, the download is now completed. Once it has downloaded, we then want to go back to our server and then go to the file manager on the left. Once we're in here, we can then go to the plugins folder and then click upload, file, and then find your crafting store jar file, select it, and then click open. It will then upload the file. So once it's uploaded, we can then click back on the left and then we're gonna want to restart our server. All right, so our server is now online. And now we want to go to the crafting store website, which will also be linked down in the description. So once we're here, we're gonna want to create a new account. So simply put in all your details and sign up. Once you have logged in, you'll be taken to this page. Anyway, the first thing we want to click is of course our Minecraft. So if you're using Bedrock, pick Bedrock, but we're using Java, so we're gonna click Minecraft Java. We then want to scroll down to your name, or you can call it whatever you want. So I've called my Pebble Store, and now I can click Create Store. And as you see, I now have my store right here. And now the first thing we're actually gonna do is go to where it says no domain set, click to set at the top. And this is where we're gonna make our new domain. Now, if you do have your own domain, you can use custom domain, but we're gonna be using our free subdomain in this video. So click configure, and then you can enter the subdomain that you want. So for example, if I put pebblehost here, it'll be pebblehost.craftingstore.net. So I'm putting pebble store, so it'll be pebblestore.craftingstore.net. And then I'll click claim domain, and as you see, my domain has been updated. And I now have pebble store as my domain. So at the top, we can actually click view store. And as you can see, it's taken us to our store, which is obviously empty at the moment. So what we're next gonna do is actually connect it to our Minecraft. So you want to go to web store and then the servers tab, where we can then click create server. Then for the server name, you can put what you want. So I've made that Pebble tutorial. And then for connection type, we are gonna click Minecraft plugin as that is how we are using this. We'll then click create server. And then from here where it says token, we want to click reveal token. We can then select this and copy all of it. It does go a bit off the screen and then copy it with control C. We can then close out of that and then actually go to your Minecraft server. All right, so as you can see, we've actually joined the server and just before we joined, it has said the crafting store plugin has not been set up correctly. Please set your API key using crafting store to key and then your key. So we're gonna do slash crafting store and then key and then just paste in our key like that with control V. So once again, slash crafting store key, and then your key. You enter it, and as you see, the new API key has been set in the config, and the plugin has been reloaded. So now, our crafting store from the website has been connected to our Minecraft server. Alright, so now we're going to come back to our page, where we can then click packages. And as you can see, we can then click create package. However, we do currently need to create a category instead. So it will then direct you exactly to the categories tab where you can click create category. So for the category name, we can choose whatever we want. So I've called this one basic packages. We can then put any description we want as well, which I've now typed in all the basic packages. You then want to make sure it is enabled. And then for these, of course, you can click what is this to learn a bit more, but I'll try and explain a little bit of it now. So if the category has cumulative packages, it means that it has one package which is an A tier, one package that is a B tier, and let's say another package which is a C tier. The A tier costs $50, the B tier costs $25, and the C tier costs $10. So it has many 
so it has different ranks of the same sort of package. So of course, adjust these accordingly. I'm just gonna leave them all off for now. And then we're gonna go back up and click in game. And this is what will actually show in game in the inventory when you do slash buy. And now for the in game name. And as you can see, it actually says colors are supported. So on the screen right now, we'll have loads of color codes that you can use to color different text in the names. So here in the example, it says and six my, which means the my would be golden. So then of course, put anything you want in there. So I've made my name and six basics, which means the basics text would be golden. And then for the material icon, of course, we can change this to whatever we want, any item or any block in the whole game. So I'm just gonna set this to rotten flesh. We can then come down to the in-game description, which also has color supported. And then of course, type whatever you want in there as well. So I've put for mine and D containing, which would be light purple and six, all which would be golden. And then and D again, basic packages, which would once again be light purple. We can then click create category. So now we have our category made, we can then go back up to packages, where we can then select create package. And this would be the kit that you would be making. So of course the name, put whatever you want. So we put our name in, which is basic kit, and I've made the description in this kit gives access to dot dot dot, as obviously you can fill this in for whatever you want. You can also select package icon, which is going to show on the website. I'm gonna click choose file, and then select the purple host logo. You then want to scroll down and click enable this package, which you want to turn on, and then allow the user to put what they want, which means that it won't have an actual fixed price. It means that the user can pay what they think it should be worth. So they can pay one pound, so they can pay one dollar or a hundred dollars or just however many they want. And we're actually gonna leave this off. And now onto the price, this would be the fixed price. So what they have to buy it for. So of course, set this to whatever you want. I'm just gonna set it to $15. And then the category we want to put it in will be basic packages, which is mainly selected anyway. We could then click create my package. From here we then want to scroll back up and click on the advanced menu. Where here you can obviously set whatever you want for these. So now we're gonna move on to the commands. So as you can see, it says, note, these commands will run in your console. You'll need to enter them without the slash and you can use placeholders like player. You can find them all by clicking the question mark at the top right. So first of all, let's just explain what these are. So as you see, if we click on this, we have initial, expiry, renewal, and chargeback. Initial would be as soon as the package is bought, it will run a command. Expiry is as soon as the package expires, it will run a command. If they renew it, it will run a command. And obviously, if they charge the payment back, it will run a command. And then execute directly can also be changed to execute when player is online. It just means that the command will run when the player joins. And you'll also need to know these placeholders so you can click this link. It'll open a new tab where, of course, you have all your placeholders that you'll need for the commands. So then we'll go back and I'm going to show you a few examples. So let's say you wanted to set someone's game mode to creative when they buy the package. We would put in game mode, creative, and then in these brackets, you would then put player. It knows which player bought the package, as when you do buy the package, you do have to put in your Minecraft username. So now we have this, as soon as a person buys the package, the game mode creative and then player will be ran in the console. And of course, they will be given creative. Now let's say it actually expired, so we'll set expiry. And this means if you did set the package to a monthly fee, and they may have cancelled it, or just not paid it, then this command will run instead. So we're going to change game mode creative back to game mode survival and then of course player as well so this means that when it expires their game mode will be set back to survival now of course you're going to want more than one of these commands so just click add command and then you can set an initial one and an expiry one maybe you want when they, uh, when they renew it or when they charge it back there's a discord tab which you can look through yourself and then we're going to go to the in-game tab where this will actually set the name and the icon of the package in game so i'm calling this and six basic kit so that will be golden I'm going to set the material to, let's just say, a bone. And then the click message. So once it's clicked, there'll be a link sent in chat. But you can actually sort of customise it before this. So the example actually gives us quite a good thing. So the example actually gives us quite a few good ideas. I'm going to put, you can buy. And then we're going to put one of these brackets. And then we put name in. And then we'll put at this website. And then put one of the other brackets and put in link. And this will also support color codes as well. And then for the in-game description, I put the most basic kit. And then if you want to make it so they can pay with in-game currency, obviously click your server here and then you can select your game price as well. But we're not going to be using that in this video. You can then click gateways once again at the top. And this is where you'd select your different payment methods that you want to enable. 
and then we're going to click create my package. And as you see, we now have our basic kit package right here. And now once again, if we go to view the store, we can actually see basic packages. And as you see, we have basic kit with the logo we uploaded. If we then click more info, this kit gives access to, and then we can put our Minecraft username and then add to basket. But how do you actually access this on Minecraft? Well, first of all, we have to restart our server after these changes have been made. So let's go ahead and restart our server. All right, so our server is now back up. So we've now joined back into our Minecraft server, where we can simply just do slash buy. It will then bring up our menu where, of course, we selected our rotten flesh, where it says basics and then containing all basic packages, which is the description we also set. We can then click on this, and as you can see, we now have our package, which was basic kit, and then the most basic as a description, and then, of course, we have our bone icon as well. We can then click that, and as you can see in chat, you can buy a basic kit at this website, and then you can simply just click Click on the link, it will ask you if you want, and it will take you right to the buy page. We can then put in our Minecraft username, mine is strange stan, and then we'll click add to basket. You can then enter your email, agree to the terms of service, but at the bottom it currently says no payment methods are configured. Please configure some from payments and then gateways. So then we want to go back to our page, then we can go to the payments tab, and then we want to go to the gateways tab. We will then have to set up each payment method. So PayPal is probably the easiest one you can do, so just click set up PayPal. It will then ask for your PayPal email, your integration type, which we'll just keep at legacy. You don't want to enable it. And then of course, you can make this if you want, but I'm just gonna set this to no. So once that's done, click close, and then click update gateways. And as you see, your payment gateways have been saved. So now if we go back to this page, we can then refresh. We can then click I agree and I agree. We'll just put in a random email, and then we're gonna select PayPal right here, where we can then click check out. Then it'll ask you to log into PayPal and obviously pay the amount that it costs, which as you can see, my basket is currently $15, which we set earlier. All right, so I've now set the price of the package to zero, meaning that it is free. And I've also given it the command, so it'll set me to creative once I do buy it. So now I'm just gonna show you what it does look like when you do purchase the package. So first of all, let's actually go ahead and buy it. So here we go, we have basic kit. We'll then go to the link. It then takes us to this page where we can, of course, buy it, put our Minecraft username in, add to basket. Then you want to enter an email. I'm just typing in some random letters for that. Now I'll agree to the terms of service and agree to this as well. And then just select free. Then after that, click checkout. And there we go, our payment was successful. And there we go, that was actually less than a few minutes. That was about 10 seconds and as you can see the server has set my game mode to creative mode so there is actually no change to the ui once you do buy something as you can see it just sends you the link once again but there we go so that's what it looks like when you do go ahead and buy the package so if you are just looking to monetize your server that is the basics that you must know if you do have any questions leave a comment below and i'll try to answer all of them i can anyway hopefully this video did help out if it did definitely leave a like and also subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time.